Challenger, Julio Cesar El Rey Martinez. What a very good evening on this special iconic night and from the sprawling mass metropolis of Mexico City, which has honed so many wonderful fighters over the years, comes the 24-year-old Julio Cesar Martinez Aguiar. He's a heavy puncher who sprung into the world's imagination with that fifth round knockout victory over the really talented Andrew Selby. It was a surprise to many, an impressive victory. Now he takes his first trip overseas and onto the big stage, this big step up. Is he another of their world champions in waiting? How good, Matt, is this guy, Julio Martinez? Well, he holds that really good win over Andrew Selby. He lost his pro debut, and since then he's gone undefeated. He's coming here as the mandatory challenger, and he seems very confident all week that he's the man to upset Charlie Edwards. Decked out in that stunning gold outfit. Charlie Edwards, the Mexican colors alongside us. And now, entering the arena, please welcome the reigning and defending WBC flyweight champion of the world, the people's champ. inspirational boxing stories in recent times. The chirpy character and skilled technician Charlie Edwards, whose dedication and family story have touched hearts. And we saw those emotional scenes when he lifted the WBC flyweight title. He returns to the O2. He calls it his home. And he's really grown into this, hasn't he, Paulie? Sure has. Matured, maturity through the years. Lost his first world title shot, but the experience really served him well, and he was able to come back in his second world title shot and win the title in impressive fashion. Very likable guy, very easy to root for, and a great story, and the fans really have taken to Charlie Edwards. He's got a chance tonight to really cement himself as a very strong champion against a, a very tough talent at the time. And there's his mom who he dedicates so much to, Charlie. It's a tight-knit family affair, brother. Sonny carried the belt into the ring as well. And there is his trainer, Grant Smith. They've got a really intense relationship. Grant's grandson, Gavin, as well, bringing one of his treasures into the ring. I think it was an old international title. But Charlie Edwards is a man on a mission. He wants to go down as a great. He's two years older than Julio Martinez. He's got height and reach advantages, both tucked inside that eight stone limit. Martinez, 7-12, were rumors he was struggling at the weight. 16 fights to 15, nothing in that. But in terms of round and experience at a high level, Edwards, but the power you see is with Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, from the sold out O2 Arena here in London, England, live on Sky Sports Box Office and ESPN Plus, we are set to go with a special World Championship Flyweight Attraction. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. We are sponsored by William Hill, StubHub, JD Sports, and Wow Hydrate. This bout is sanctioned under the auspices of the British Boxing Board of Control. The steward in charge is Mr. Mick Collier. 
and the World Boxing Council. The president, Mauricio Suleiman. The supervisor in attendance, Dwayne Ford. Introducing your three judges scoring this world championship contest from ringside. From Venezuela, Nicolas Hidalgo. From the United Kingdom, John Latham. And from the United States of America, Gary Ritter. Your timekeeper from the United Kingdom is Brett Bowles. And at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring, also from the United Kingdom, A-star referee, Mr. Mark Lyson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the red corner and standing with his head trainer, Mauricio Aceves Gallegos. He wears the Mexican national colors of white, red, and green. He scaled seven stone, 12 pounds, bang on. His professional record, an excellent one. 14 wins, only one defeat. He has 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he makes his first attempt at a world title. Ladies and gentlemen, presentando. They sealed that in Mexico, distrito del around Mexico. Damas y caballeros, Julio Cesar. his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands with his head trainer, Grant Smith. He wears the WBC colors of green, gold, and white. He scaled already seven stone, 13 pounds, and eight ounces. His professional record, 15 victories, one defeat. He has six wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Croydon, London, England. And tonight, making his second defense of his world title, here is the young, talented, and inspirational, reigning and defending WBC Lightweight Champion of the World, the People's Champ, Charlie Edwards! Edwards! What a reception, how popular he has become. Okay, folks, you both in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Stay professional, obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Okay, boys? Good luck to you both. Mark Lyson, the first ever referee from Liverpool to conduct a world title fight. Congratulations to him. Hope he has a good one. Second defense of the prestigious old WBC eight stone crown for the Sheffield based South Londoner Charlie Edwards against the dangerous mandatory challenger Mexico's Julio Martinez, who's some fancy in the trade here. Big puncher. He's a couple of years younger than Edwards, but he is giving away his usual home advantage and pedigree and experience to Edwards, man. Yeah, he's got it all to do, and Edwards, someone that's confidence is sky high at the minute. He's really on a crest of a wave, boxing out of his skin in his last couple of fights. That world title shot, the night he won it, all week, the positivity, the self-belief that was it, he was exuding. We just kind of had that feeling he was going to produce a special performance, and it was, exactly it was almost like destiny, wasn't it? The way he was talking all week. That's exactly what it was like. He felt it was his time. He believed in himself. He'd gone, he'd uh, gone back to the drawing board. He took his loss against Casimiro, he'd uh, relocated, tried a different trainers, he'd been with Adam Booth, settled with Grant Smith, felt that was for him, and uh, he produced an absolutely fantastic performance, and he uh, a thoroughly, thoroughly deserved winner. Sharp technical boxer, who has got the advantages in there. But what of Martinez? Well, he just landed a good left hook, right hand combination, so Edwards got to be sharp here, we know Martinez can punch. So we've got to make sure he stays focused, stays switched on. 
doesn't give anything away. That was a big win he had over Andrew Selby, wasn't it, Paulie? Yeah, it sure was. You know, and, and at 24 years old, Martinez is still at an age where you know you, you have not accomplished everything, you have everything in front of you, and there's that extra hunger that a young fighter tends to have and is willing to go through a lot more to in order to win a world title. We've seen Charlie Edwards go through that kind of stuff, and obviously he's still young at 26 years old and now is the world champion and the title holder. But Martinez is the kind of guy who has that same kind of hunger and determination coming from Mexico all the way to the UK to challenge for this world championship at such a young age. Just trying to get his own jab going here. Martinez, he's been pretty cool all week. He's got a good corner. Decent counter from Edwards there. He'll be looking to box at range and pickpocket at times. Educated boxing, they believe, is the answer tonight. Yeah, I think he's got to stay sharp here, Edwards, because Martinez can definitely punch. You can see that already. You can hear some of these shots, they're hitting the gloves, and they sound. You can hear the weight on them, so he's got to keep that jab in his face, keep fainting, keep moving. Don't stand in front of this guy. But he's also got to watch for those counters. From him. That's good combination work from Edwards. Yep, beautiful and accurate, but he will be dangerous. Some good shots from Martinez, too. Edwards has to drop in some feints here and there because Martinez is looking to... He's not really creating on his own. He's just throwing jabs, but he's waiting on the timing of, of Edwards' jab and then throwing the combinations right off of it. Just flicking between orthodox and southpaw as well. But he, Martinez. He, there he did. He was a southpaw for a second there. But Edwards can disrupt that, that type of timing by mixing in jabs uh, and not always throwing the punches when he looks like he is. Yeah, switch hitting, got some hand speed, Edwards countering, and it's a good opening round, very competitive. Yeah, Edwards' defences are better, I think that's been the difference in this round, both men having success, but I like the defences of Edwards. Side, really enjoying this first three minutes. Matt was excellent, wasn't it? Yeah, great opening round. Not a lot in it. Mexican working off Charlie Edwards' jab. Oh, Charlie counter it back as well. So it's been a very uh, around that ebbed and flowed. Second The WBC World Eight Stone Belt on the line. Croydon's Charlie Edwards in the predominantly white shorts with the gold down the sides and the white boots it's the red boots and the mexican colors with that green down the side of his trim for the very aggressive julio martinez who's starting fast as we suspected edwards landed a nice little counter uppercut there on the, on the aggressive move from martinez is a little short shot that can sometimes change the the perception of the exchange and edwards landed a good uppercut yeah that was a sharp counter from edwards but you say he's got to be careful edwards with his jab because martinez walking forward aggressively and he's just looking he's waiting for edwards's jab and he's looking to counter off it and he's mixing it up as well and that's what got edwards in trouble here against jean riel casimero who dealt him his first loss over 10. That was a world title chance, probably came a bit too soon for Edwards. He's learned from it, he's matured. But Martinez will take great confidence from that. Yeah, Edwards can't afford with any, any sloppy shots here. He can't, when he puts that jab out, he's got to mix it up, faint, go up and down with it, bury the speed, bury the power of it, because he doesn't want Martinez to start timing him and start reading that jab, because he's, he's pretty dangerous here, Martinez, with the counters. If there's one flaw that's glaring about Martinez is he's letting Edwards circle the ring as he chooses. Edwards clear, uh, Martinez clearly wants to shorten the distance between him, him and Edwards. And right now, his only way of shortening it has been to punch with Edwards' jab. Even when he's tried to initiate the, the flow himself, he's only been able to get off the jab and not close the gap on Edwards. So he needs to figure out other ways to close the gap, like right there instead of just being able to wait on, on Edwards' punches. Yeah, the quick shots, the shock as well, because if Edwards gets into some sort of rhythm on the back foot behind that jab, he's got the amateur pedigree, hasn't he, to make this yeah. not a comfortable night's work, but certainly one that's going to benefit him. Well, it's for sure, because Edwards, at this distance right here, is more comfortable. Edwards, right, obviously, I don't mean comfortable like he's, he's uh, he, he, like it's an easy fight, but this is the distance Edwards wants to fight at, and Martinez wants to close that gap a little bit, and when he's able to, he lands some decent shots, but... If he doesn't start cutting off the ring, the amount of times per round that and Martinez gets on the inside won't be enough to pull the rounds in his favor. Ah. 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 
Oh, nice work on the right hand from Edwards after a bit of pressure from Martinez. There's the accuracy that we've got used to with Edwards now. Yeah, accurate, sharp, nice and busy. And we know he can keep this up for the 12 rounds, but he's just got to stay focused, stay switched on, because Martinez is dangerous and he's a little bit awkward and unorthodox with some of those uh, counters. He lunges in with an uppercut, but he's, he's quite heavy-handed. And he keeps switching stances as well to try and befuddle and confuse Edwards. That's a nice left hand following on from the body shot. He caught one on the chin there, Edwards took it well. Another really interesting round, good fight. It's a great stack night, man. Brilliant night, and there were just moments in that second round where we've seen the unorthodoxness of Martinez, how he can be dangerous, he switches from southpaw to orthodox, and then leads with like a, a, a corkscrew uppercut. So he's got to be, got to stay switched on here, Charlie. Boxing well, gave him the second round as well, but he's just got to be careful of those uh, attacks from Martinez. And then the knockouts in the 14 wins as well for Martinez, albeit in Mexico, in his home country, but that is a big advantage, certainly early in these first few, Paulie. Yeah, and Martinez has good moments, and he has another good moment he has right here. But overall, so far in the first two rounds, he's kept himself in the fight, but he's just not been able to close the gap enough times during the round to pull the rounds in his favor. It's kept him competitive, it's kept him believing in himself, but he's gonna have to start getting a little closer a little bit more often. And if he's able to do that, he'll be able to pull some rounds in his favor. Rapid fire raids, but maybe not enough of them. Yeah, exactly. Only in spots while it's Edwards who's controlling the range and dictating the pace and distance of the fight in most of these rounds. Good work again from Martinez. Yeah, he's and body. Nice he's other cut. Shots. Edwards under pressure here, and he has to hold because this is a worrying moment for the break. He's got Martinez going to try and take him out here. that he landed that did that really hurt badly is that was when Charlie was already on the floor. Okay, I'm, 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 I want to see the replay I'm, here. I'm curious of what froze Edwards. Something froze Edwards where he was just stopped he stopped he stopped resisting he, and he just covered up. So did he hit him with a body shot once he was already yeah, on the he, floor? He, he went was, down. He was, he was but he was hurt already. He went down we expected the count to come in it didn't and I think he, he got hurt with a headshot at him, and that's when he froze up and he tightened up, and that's when Martinez unloaded. But he was down when the body shot that, that finished him up. He was already on the ground. So he had that Something body shot him. on the right hand. There's that's one on the left that hurt him. There's another. Something's hurting him here. He's already, he's yeah, but wait till you see him now. He get, he hits him while he's down. No, he does. I remember that. But there's a he, why is he reacting this way? Is what I'm saying. Well, like, I think he, he got hurt with a headshot. Then he got hurt with a body does, shot. Because he doesn't leave the pocket and he doesn't but hold. That's, that's the shot. shot that, that's yeah. the shot that really done the damage. Yeah. But I, I think he would have got up only for that. Yeah. Saw it when you saw it, but I didn't realize it was that bad. That's yeah. that's under the arm. Yeah, and that's that's really controversial because he yeah. would have got up there. Yeah. Edwards, he was yeah. hurt, yeah. he was in trouble, but he took a knee, and I'm sure he would have made the count, but he was caught there. The referee has to catch that. Yep, and the referee didn't. You know, he got pushed to the head. That that's what brought on the attack. Then he did definitely hurt him to the body shot. He took a knee, but he was he was okay. I think he was going to get up. But then when he hit him with that final body shot while he was already down, he that's the one. Yeah. That's yeah. completely not the wind out of him. Yeah. The referee has to make that call. You know what you have here, though? You, if you put in a, a, if you file a complaint with the WBC or something, you may get a no contest or you may get an immediate rematch. Well, the WBC president is here. Eddie Hearn looks a bit perplexed in the ring. The crowd are silenced. And what we do know is for the moment, Julio Martinez has taken the WBC flyweight belt away from Charlie Edwards. Would he have got through it? That's the big question. He was in trouble, but he's shaking his head. He was hit when he was down, and there may be a big review into this.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Tyson calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 43 seconds of round number three. Your winner by count out and the new WBC flyweight champion of the world, Julio Cesar El Rey Martinez. Well, Charlie Edwards was shaking his head, but he did clap his gloves to show respect, and he is to the crowd. And that's the sort of guy he is. He'll be back from this, Edwards. I wonder what Eddie Hearn will say. And that's why his home fans love him. Well, you know, I think the referees had a shocker there. That's got to be, you know, he's got to give Charlie Edwards the, the chance to, to give up. That shouldn't have been a count out. Yeah. Uh, when, was the referee pointing Martinez to neutral corner when it happened? Yeah, I'm maybe, trying to figure out didn't see why it. he maybe didn't see, he didn't see it. it. I'm trying to figure out why he didn't see it. I, well, I, I didn't know that. I didn't catch it in the other first yeah, replay. It, it's an error. He's lost his title, but... But I'm thinking... Will that, there be an immediate rematch? There has to be an immediate rematch, or maybe even a no contest, because that shot was clearly... Or both, while he was down. Yeah, devastating for Charlie Edwards. But let's hear what he has to say with Andy. Charlie. Obviously bitterly disappointed, can see how upset you are. We've seen the replays, obviously, but just want to get it from you to start with. Do you feel that the end of the fight there was unjust. Tell us what happened in your own words, because you seem to be hurt with a body shot uh, legally, and then perhaps a shot landed after. Just put it uh, into words for us and talk us through it. Yeah, um, I was. I was hurt with a body shot, and that's why I took a knee. And the, the, when I was on the floor and he hit me with that body shot, then that was couldn't recover from it. I'm gutted, to say the least, but we live, we learn. All credit to him, he's a tough fighter, and he, he is a big puncher. But again, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone in here who's got behind me and supported me because without you guys, it's, we're, we're no ones. And I really respect that. But all praise to Martinez. He got the decision, but we'll have to just go back and watch it. And he did hurt me, I'm not going to deny that, but that's why I took the knee. And it was a shot on the floor that really put me away. What's your message? Do you want an immediate rematch? Do you want to get back in there again? We'll, we'll just go back to the gym and see, but yeah, why not? To be fair, I don't, to be fair, I don't even know because flyweights killed me this time. I think you see on the scales that it really took the life and soul out of me. Um, so maybe that could have had an effect on the way I took some punches, but all credit to him and well done. That is really gracious of you. Let's have a quick word with Pryor Eddie Hearn. Very, very fair assessment there from Charlie, but you weren't really as happy as that. No, I mean, the shot wasn't late, it was, it was next week. And uh, I think full credit to Julio Cesar Martinez. There you see it here. He was, listen, it was a great performance from Martinez. Charlie was hurt, he took a knee. I mean, that's not late, that's next week, you know? So what's your, what's your message to Maurizio Suleiman from the WBC, who hopefully we'll get a chance to speak to? Maurizio knows what he's doing. This is why the WBC have action replay in many commissions around the world. That is a blatant low bow. Like I said, it wasn't even close to the floor. So we, have a, we have that tonight? Is that a rule that we don't it's, have? It's, the British Boxing Board of Control doesn't allow an action replay. Some commissions do, some commissions don't. The WBC allow action replay. They insist on action replay. If there was action replay in, in, in use tonight, we wouldn't have had this problem. But listen, this is a strong champion. It's a great performance from him, but I know 100% Maurizio Suleiman order a rematch immediately. Okay, Mar Maurizio is here in the ring. Maurizio, first off, Maurizio, would you help us translate here with Julio? Julio, congratulations, you are the new champion of the world, but do you have mixed feelings with the reaction and the way that the fight ended? No, pues yo le gané, todavía seguía parado cuando fue el, el, el conteo del referee, no nos separó, si me hubiera separado el referee, y yo le hubiera dado el golpe todavía fuera, fuera más claro, no quiere, pero aquí estamos. Could you help us with that, Maurizio? Yeah, he says he hit him down, he was already knocked down, and he could have continued, and he feels that he already knocked them out. Could you have been disqualified, though, with a late punch? Well, como un No, pues él va cayendo, no llegó ni el referee, el referee vio que todo le seguía pegando, ya no me dejó de tirar, apenas iba, iba apenas para abajo todavía, ni se caía al rey al ring. He was on his way down and the referee counted him out. So I just did what I had to do and I beat the fight. Okay, I've got well, you, Maurizio. You've seen the pictures though. 
did, it seems very clear that he was on the floor when the punch landed. I know Julio is in the moment, and the he's w saying that he's on, he's on the floor. The WBC has the instant replay rule, and I have had an agreement with the British Boxing Order Control that our rule would stand in controversy. This fight has been ruled a no contest, and a direct rematch will be ordered. Thank you for talking to us afterwards.